foreign language capabilities among our librarians, and is it needed in is, is it needed? And I want to answer it, it is needed. Um, it is. We have some, mm -hmm. um, not as much as we'd like. Mm -hmm. uh, when we posted the ad, we specifically said bilingual preferred, mm -hmm. um, especially Chinese or mm -hmm. Spanish. Mm -hmm. So the youth services, I mean, we talked a lot about that, and we really, that's where we want to go. I don't know if we'll get that in the pool. I mean, so much of it depends on who's in library school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Okay. All right. But Chinese are some they're different dialects. So which dialect? Mandarin. It's called simplified. There's like that's what's, what's being taught at, at Nutria right now, and also being taught at at, um, yeah. at the District 39. So yeah. But it's definitely a growing need yeah, oh, in yeah. our community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Could you provide um, us with those statistics as to what the overall the demographics? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll be part of the strategic plan, too, mm -hmm. is like, you know, yeah. digging into those um, language demographics. Mm -hmm. Another language is um, Korean. Mm -hmm. I, I remember uh, once some statistic or from Ramona is that they had, like, X number of languages spoken at home at the schools, and I don't remember the number, but it was way more than I expected mm -hmm. to say. So... And I'm um, sorry to get another random one, but th there's some fund that we have that's like armchair travelers or mm -hmm, something, mm -hmm. and it, maybe this is an opportunity to sort of do something for Korea and China and Mexico or wherever the communities we have here to think about integrating some of that stuff into, uh, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, so we also want to do ha hire a programming specialist for community services um, as as we get out into the community more um, Sarah Beth's duties are you know a lot <laughs> she does a lot of multitasking yeah. and I want her to be able to focus on the communications um, community engagement and building partnerships part of it and then the big library event planning and programming we like to hire a specialist so what does for a that? graphic designer do now I mean in terms of because Sarah Beth was doing that so I'm just curious I think it'd be good to look at current FTEs and what you're proposing because it's hard to get a grasp of it when you keep you know you you add it so I think that would be helpful about what the graphic designer does no 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 overall because the mm -hmm. FTEs that are being added I'm curious in terms of what their duties will be and in terms of trends mm -hmm. in that addition as to what you expect the outcome to be of that okay well, we are rewriting job descriptions, you know, and I can mm -hmm. share those. With but I think an overall view, because we keep getting it this way, but I think it would be helpful to see the overall yeah. plan mm -hmm. as opposed to each time who's being hired or what. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, where was I? Oh, so, I mean, there's staffing's hard because, you know, we're... We've got a lot of succession planning coming up, mm -hmm. and so part of, I mean, when you talk about an overall plan, that's one of my overall plans, mm -hmm. is to look at the key areas in the library that have a lot of veteran staff that are nearing retirement, mm -hmm. and trying to hire staff now that can start to learn and absorb some of that information and some of that historical knowledge. So. That's another area where, you know, we're building that over time. Uh, Barbara Griffiths is moving to a part-time schedule starting mm -hmm. in January. Uh, luckily, she'll continue her financial role here at the library, um, but her HR duties will need to be decided um, at that point. Mm -hmm. I We're just in the preliminary phases right now, uh, talking a lot to staff and, um, you know, there's a. I, I have some job descriptions for HR people trying to figure out um, how much we want them to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have outsourced to the Management Association for some HR duties. They help us with things like our new grade scale that we are currently working on. They help us with that kind of logistics. Uh, we outsource our payroll 
And so they, we have that already in place. Uh, but we do need someone to do the daily work of HR for benefits administration, but also for things like staff training, staff development. There's so much more we could be doing on that end of things. And plus hiring. Uh, staff and wellness, hiring, um, mentoring, um, mm -hmm. job descriptions, reworking our evaluations. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, yeah. of work that we needs to be about, done. We have about 100, almost, a, we're getting close to 100 people now. Yes. So it's a, it's a big time. Yeah. So is it a part time? time. Is it it's a not full time. time. It's not not a hundred full time people. Right. right. But it's a hundred people. A so. hundred bodies. Yeah. 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 So this new HR position might be part time, might be full time. I would. Well, my plan is to come up with a list of skills and duties that we'd like to see, mm -hmm. and then figure out if it fits into a part time or a full time mm -hmm. position. And is that something the management association, since they're already evaluating jobs, could they evaluate that potential job? Because I mean, obviously Barb's doing it now. Right. Um, and then there's things you might want to, that are probably split between other people, but right. um, since you're having them evaluate what, what existing right. employees are doing, could you have them evaluate what that potential position would be? They don't really. They don't do that. They don't really do okay. that. I mean, that's, you know, that because it's, yeah. it's so customized for right. your particular institution. Right. And right. it depends on, right. you know, the staff who's in place and also the amount of support your own staff needs. Right, because, I mean, the managers obviously do parts of that, sure. like the evaluation. And then, um, so which management association is it that does the, that's helping with uh, evaluating the, the current positions? I'm just curious. Is it's, it like it's the just library? It's called the, manage the, li the management association. It's with Rails, with our um, okay. library consortium. So they're sort of library oriented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they also do some nonprofits and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and they'll alert us to new laws, right? You know, things like that. So, I mean, we're covered with the maintenance of it. The right. question is, is you know, how much more can we, do we want? Can we do with staff development? Um, the workforce is changing really rapidly, and mm -hmm. people are looking. You know, when you're trying to attract talent, they're looking for more of that HR support. Mm -hmm. We have people a lot of times that just pop into Barb's office and just want to talk about, you right. know, something mm -hmm. they need to talk about with an right. HR professional. So right, we de yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think that this. I think. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Good that these functions are going to be split because I think that it's 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 a lot for too much I think for one person to to do it all here with a yeah. hundred employees so, right. mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that's a, I think it's a good you know opportunity yeah I well and that dovetails it go ahead oh thank you I just I shared a reaction with Heather to it that um, you know as we're thinking about maybe a part-time position. Like one of the things I got found so exciting about the legislative breakfast is we could potentially think about collaborating with another unit of government, right? the park district or the school districts in a similar place and they've got part-time needs. Maybe it's worth talking about, well, maybe we could share an HR position. It's half time with us and half time with them. The graphic designer, as you're thinking about new positions, I think there's an opportunity for us to try to get creative and you know, think about sharing staff when it's the same sort of functions. It's a strange uh, function, but it's different, different uh, entities. I mean, very different, you know, they're not necessarily the same. But, but I mean, yeah, anything's we'll possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the other thing we did, um, we hosted Skokie Librarians here to discuss their equity and inclusion initiative. And that's another area when we talk about HR that's, you know, you want to be at, we want to be on top of and we want to make sure that um, we're being proactive in that area. Um, and so it's a, it's a staff awareness issue. It's, um, you know, it's, it's an understanding of how we hire and how we promote and how we uh, work together. and. Um, the, all sorts of things, so, mm -hmm. and so I think that's really exciting that we're starting to talk about more of that. Um, so we're going to come next month uh, with insurance information, liability insurance, mm -hmm. not health insurance, liability insurance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, our current Nimble Financial merged with the firm True North, mm -hmm. which is based out of Cedar Rapids. Um, so I asked John to come and do a presentation uh, if we were to stay with the same, um, but it's not the same broker, honestly. It's different. Um, 
if, but if we want to stay with Hartford and Philadelphia and all that, he's going to do a presentation. I know, um, and Lyra's coming as well. And I know you did this last year. So you're well prepped, yes. I hope. Right, we did. And we, um, can you wait to see how, what the, is there agenda pretty big? Because that takes a long oh, time. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Do we, we have to make this decision? We have the, uh, yeah. the policies get we yeah, got it because it's coming okay. up. Uh, I mean, I, mean, I feel like we do it every year. We do it every year. Yeah, but there's but, nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, but don't, last year John did present Lyra, and he strongly said we should consider it, and we sort of said, oh, we're getting a new. <laughs> well, let's wait until the new director. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> Down the road. Yes. I mean, one of the things we could do if we feel as though that the agenda gets too full, we can, we can always way. have a committee meeting. We could stick it under a. We could have a finance committee meeting. We could schedule a meeting um, and dig into that. So we can always do that. Um, so why don't we? Why don't well, it depends we, on what else you got on the agenda. Yeah. So right. why don't it? Sort of depends on, and maybe the strategic planning. We're going on that, but I think we've got to look at it one way or the other, and I think we need to look seriously at Lyra. I, I'm very interested in what John has to say on the we subject. Could, right. um, we could do it at six o'clock too, like we did before, right? Do it like for the six or seven, or break for like a half we hour. We could do that. Yeah. 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 So let's, I'm not sure let's fast, be yeah, prepared yeah, yeah. to spend some extra time digging into next, this next one way or the other. How does that yeah. sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I, you know, I feel very comfortable with Lyra myself. I know lots of other directors mm -hmm. who are part of Lyra. Um, you know, I'm still learning about Nimble Financial, but um, that's it is changing into a new brokerage firm, which... Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just so many unknowns at that point in terms of the level of customer service we're mm -hmm. going to be receiving. To build on Catherine's um, point, just so you know, I, th I think what we were th Kathleen's point, what we were thinking about last year was we didn't want to make a switch with, with you coming in. So we, we, we all liked Lyra as, as a thing to transition to, but didn't want to make the transition until after you had a chance to assess where we were and where we might just go. Just sort of leave things yeah. in place yeah. for right. another yeah. year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so, so yeah, so we're, we're, on your, we're on the same page. You you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I just, yeah. there's some real good benefits yeah. to a library consortium like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're, I think we're sort of teed up to yeah. okay. yeah, strongly I definitely want to hear them. both. I want to hear like a But I want to hear, I think we're teed yeah. up to listen. Yeah. And we came with some positive recommendations, but we still we want to listen to it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we'll bring you the audit, hopefully, in uh, at the October meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, we're very close to completing the Management Association's salary grade scale. So okay. I'll be able to bring, share Bring share sleeping, that sleeping bags and tents, then, to the next meeting. Yeah, make it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, food. Yeah, so if it could go to November, that's Start true. Start at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yesterday. Okay, we talked about signage. Uh, the, what else? Oh, we're going to be um, having self-service study room reservations, mm -hmm. which is yeah, going to be really, cool. really mm -hmm. helpful and mm -hmm. convenient for patrons. Um, and those are all, like, the non-charge ones, right? Right. Okay. And we're making the rules simpler so that yeah. they're all the same. Mm -hmm. Right. They're all the same. Uh, we're planning a garage sale on yeah, Saturday that November idea. 4th. Uh, most of it is, uh, Kathleen asked me what is it. I'm like, it's, it's old, old furniture. It's, you know, old wooden chairs or tables, a little, some old shelving units. There's not a lot that's worth much, honestly. Um, there are a couple of Herman Miller chairs, which mm -hmm. uh, might be worth a little bit more. But other than that, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of leftovers from the renovation project. Would that be something so. that books down under could piggyback on or not? The garage sale? That's if an interesting idea. Yeah, that's a great that's a idea. Great idea. Yeah. You could do like a well, I thought you were going to say we're going to get rid of books, and then I thought, oh, well, that's. You know, that no, but to like have a special sale. You have a table or there. Yeah, this is just furniture. Yeah, furniture. Yeah. And yeah. This will be at the auditorium. Mm -hmm. and November 4th. Yeah. Can bring some carts in and Exactly. Or that's a good idea. Yeah. I thought okay. it. No, okay. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry, this is so long. So much is going on. <laughs> oh, summer reading was crazy. Yeah, it was it our was. biggest year ever. 1,800 kids. 
the thing I'm really excited about is our finishing rate was so yeah. high. Mm. That for me, that that's is impressive. That is the that's the sweet spot mm. because you want those kids to read all summer long mm -hmm. and develop that habit and that pleasure of reading, and I'm <coughs> really happy with that. Uh, In connection with that, I mean, because I called Heather again as we went over the agenda for the meeting today again. And you, you see that attendance comparison thing yeah, right there? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, mm -hmm. is that real? Is that, and that's, and it is. And I said, well, you know, unpack that for me. And it's mm -hmm. basically the summer reading program, yeah. all those kids. And so it is a real nice apples to apples yeah. Yeah. comparison. Mm -hmm. And that's just great. That's just what we want to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so more, yeah. I've got throw more programming at it, yeah. yeah. A question about the bilingual story times. Mm -hmm. We were talking earlier about the languages. Um, do you know what language? That one is, is Spanish. That we don't have Spanish. a Chinese one yet, okay. but that one is mm -hmm. Spanish, yeah. And and that's yeah. how does that get promoted? Um, same way as every other program in our newsletter and flyers and uh, on our website. Yeah, it's not any different than the way we promote our other programs. We do have it in both languages. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just wondering if there isn't, well, we don't need to talk about it now, but okay. there isn't some other, other way of expanding those kinds of things by going to groups somewhere or? Yeah, and I think promotion in general is something we'd like to do more of for mm -hmm. PR and things, which would, that's another reason to get a programming specialist yeah. to free up mm -hmm. Sarah Beth to mm -hmm. do more yeah. communications. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, our catalog migration is on track. We're getting staff trained um, in Polaris.